wasn't even recording. Good job, Alan, you weren't even recording. Let's go again. Did you know that you can be both bi and straight? I didn't understand it fully until about maybe three months ago and I'm still learning a lot about it, but let's dig into the nuances of romantic attraction and sexual attraction. Hi everyone, my name is Alan. I am a bisexual content creator here on YouTube. I make content all about LGBT topics, specifically more often than not on bisexuality, and I have something that I really wanted to talk to y'all today, and that is the ability to have different orientations based on your romantic side and your sexual side. For example, I am bisexual. I am attracted sexually and romantically to men and women, that's how I define it. Some people may feel it differently. They may be bisexual in the sense that they're attracted sexually to men and women, but they also may be, say, straight, where they might be attracted to the opposite gender, or they may be gay, or something else, sexually or romantically. It's kind of like if you go onto, like, say, some social media profiles, you may see someone post that they are bi-lesbian, bi-straight, buy something or anything, kind of amalgamation of that sort of thing. It's a fairly new concept for me, and at first I did have a little bit of questions, doubts, but then I remembered that everything is on a spectrum of sorts. Remember the Kinsey scale, the scale that tells you where you kind of are in your sexual orientation based from straight to gay. It's what we've been using for a very long time. It's not foolproof though, because it doesn't talk about romantic attraction. You can have different attractions based on your romantic romantic and sexual attractions. And that is something I really want to impart on you right now. It does get a little tricky though. It does get complicated. It gets complicated when you factor in bi-visibility and all the other range of sexual spectrums that are still being understood, but also just being validated or seeking validation. I know for me, bi-visibility is a very big thing. And that's why it took me such a long time to understand what it means to be romantic versus sexual. It's why I struggled with it for a long time because I really wanted to make clear that this wasn't erasing my bisexuality. And it's not. Honestly, it's validating a lot of people's mindset when it comes to their sexuality. It's helping them understand themselves more. For instance, people have reached out to me saying that they romantically are straight. They're not attracted to the same gender identity, but sexually they lean more bi, where at the end of the day, they could see themselves having sexual attraction to, to more than one gender identity, but romantically only one. I was worried again about my bisexuality being erased. A lot of people think that bisexuals are going from, you know, either they're straight or they're gay. There's no in between. And so I always was conflicted about how do we describe these things. And it, it took people reaching out to me about this for me to do more research on it and for me to understand that it is incredibly valid. You can have way different romantic attraction than you do your sexual attraction. I myself feel incredible comfort with bi being for my sexuality and romantic side, but some people may feel it differently. They may feel themselves to be bisexual, but heteroromantic, and that's cool, that's valid. Do you have any questions? Do you feel like you are somewhere in that spectrum of having a different romantic life than your sexual life? Let me know down in the comments. I would really like to learn more about this, so if you do identify on that certain spectrum, please fill in the gaps of anything that I might have missed. It helps me, it also helps people watching this video find more information on it. I would love to share any articles I may find on it in the description, so if I did find any, please check that out. My name is Alan. I create lots of LGBT topic videos, including other things too. It's not all gay. It's just I like making gay stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, wait, hold on, 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 hold on. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because that's very, 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 very important. Okay, bye. <laughs>